Eastern Chad hosts several thousand refugees from Sudan. Fleeing war and death, the majority of the people have found refuge in Eastern Chad and have now been living here for more than 10 years. The Chadian host communities have accepted the refugees and peacefully live together with them. Local chiefs play a key role in the refugees' integration in Eastern Chad. They have welcomed and generously allocated farmland to the people displaced by war. In the village of Lumba Masalit, close to Farshana town, local chief Ahmad Daud Umar is an example of this generosity. He generously offered 100 hectares of land to the refugees. What's more, he did not simply offer an empty plot, but a secure piece of land with legal documents. <laughs> In addition to the benefit of working together and becoming stronger as a community, Ahmad Daud also started a romantic relationship. As the local chief welcomed the refugees in the area, he met Zenaba, a 35-year-old woman refugee. They fell in love with each other and they got married. The Lutheran World Federation is successfully advocating for more refugees' access to farmland. As a result, the refugees have been allocated over 54,000 hectares of farmland thanks to the generosity of local chiefs. Owning a piece of land helps the refugees to integrate into the new community. They farm the allocated land and meet their own family's needs while building strong socioeconomic ties within their host communities. <laughs>